The new Skibidi Toilet series has come out. In it were shown how agents, side by side with Skibidist, repel the superior forces of Astra. So watch the analysis to the end. But before you start, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, because more than half of my viewers still watch my analyzes without subscribing. And if this video gets 40,000 likes, then I will continue to try to make the analysis even better. The series begins with how a well-equipped squad of earthly scabitists attacks an astro scabitist in some city. Apparently, the news about Astra's intentions to destroy them along with the agents had already reached all of Hyman's forces. The astronomer returns fire, but ski bitter Superman flies in to help his comrades, which explodes along with the enemy, causing him to fall. Thanks to this, they manage to finish him off when suddenly another Astra flies in and says, How dare you resist? He attacks the Skibidists while the cameramen retreat. And Astra continues, Traitors. We see chaos and confusion happening everywhere. When our eyes, or rather our cameraman's lens, catch sight of a very shabby Skibidist. Cameraman is preparing to finish him off, by the way, because he is holding two bazookas, you can understand that we are watching the series from the perspective of a big cameraman. The ski bitist is afraid and the operator hesitates before firing. But this ski bitist is destroyed by Astra with a ram at full speed. Cameraman shoots at him, but he manages to protect his face with his helmet, although he receives damage to everything else. He prepares to shoot back, but is himself hit by a laser, after which he is run over by a large ski bitter on wheels. He smiles predatorily, causing the cameramen to prepare to destroy him, and one even shoots at his cheek. The ski bitist's face changes, as if wondering, and what was that now? It turns out that there were cameramen on it. One of them, who by the way was sitting behind the cannon, shows with gestures that this ski bitist is not an enemy to the agents. You probably noticed that this cameraman has an orange shirt, for some reason I have a feeling that we will see him more than once. After his explanation, the ski bitist rushes on, and the operator wonders what is going on. For what? Receives the same answer. The cameramen notice that along the street the agents, together with the earthly skibidists, are running away from another aster. By the way, here you can see how one cameraman grabbed the skibidist in order to quickly escape. This scene takes us back to episode 64 where the cooperation of the Skibidist Alliance took place in a similar way. Astra manages to shoot them. The operator attacks him, after which he dodges return fire in time, while his comrade covers him. He manages to rip off his helmet and finish him off with a knife. By the way, there are strange marks on his face. Most likely these are tattoos. An inverted triangle with a line inside means Earth, and a circle with a cross means the same. The big chamberman tears the laser off its body and examines his trophy. Here we hear a sound that is painfully familiar to all fans of the Half-Life series. As you already understand, this sound is here for a reason. Aster managed to recover with the help of one of the technologies. He drives back and having accelerated well, rams the agent. Aster the Skybitist says it's time to die, but not allowing him to finish off the operator, Another large cameraman finishes him off with a laser. He helps his friend become a friend, after which we manage to take a closer look at him. Judging by his coat and weapons, one can understand that this is the same cameraman from whose perspective we saw the first part of episode 70. It was he who then entered the Alpha Hills laboratory along with a detachment of women, where they took part in the battle against the scientist and where he was severely wounded. After the renovation, he not only gained improvements that we will learn about later, but also his camera lens now emits blue light. As we know, the same light was emitted by Van Tuzman's camera. And according to my theory, this effect is achieved when the cameraman Titan gives a piece of his power to selected agents who have proven their bravery. Apparently, he will continue to appear in the series and play an important role in it. But to be honest, I don't know what name to give it, and therefore I ask you for help with this. Write your options in the comments I will choose. The best name for this chamberman. He notices the arriving Astroscobitist and manages to knock him out, but four more arrive.
The large chamberman releases a turret attached to his sleeve, which erects an energy shield protecting the agents. By the way, the same similar shield was used by Chamberman Titan. One Astro Scabitist tries to attack from the air, but having received a return shot, he flies back when another one appears, with which he breaks the agent's fortification with a powerful shot. As it turned out, he was helped in battle by a Chamberman scientist who controlled some of the guns. He shows thumbs up. And this is where the series ends. Now let's move on to my theories. As I expected in the analysis of the last episode, the Skibitists and agents begin to unite.